At this time, I'm going to introduce Mr. Mark Billington with Apple.
students and staff who made this all possible. This is a big deal. To be one of 52 schools in the country that received this award, uh, it represents a lot of hard work. And I know you as students sometimes you think, I, you know, I just do a little bit here and there, but you know, a lot of people just doing a few things, and there are some of you that do more than a few things. A lot of people doing a few things can make a big impact. And I, th I thank you as a student body and staff for making this all possible. Thank you. Yes, congratulations, everyone. Today, we're privileged to have with us Senator Ben Nelson. He's a native of McCook. He earned his bachelor's, master's, and law degrees from the University of Nebraska. Senator Nelson worked in insurance law until he decided to run for governor of Nebraska in 1990. He served two terms as our governor, was elected to the U.S. Senate in 2000, and is currently serving his third term representing Nebraska. He's been an instrumental member of a number of different Senate committees, has a reputation for bipartisanism and uh, trying to understand everyone's um, opinions. And we're so pleased that he can join us on this exciting day. Please welcome Senator Ben Nelson. Thank you, uh, Mr. Shaheen, and thank you uh, for the opportunity to be here today. And congratulations. This is a significant award that you've achieved. I appreciate Apple's recognition of, uh, of your school and of your commitment to uh, education and learning. You now, I remember when, uh, a few years ago, when there, were a lot of, there was a lot of talk about how we were going to integrate the use of technology and the creation of, of uh, education that resulted in learning. And a great deal of effort went into that 20 years ago and has continued over over time. But it was clear that if young people were, were wrapped up in all the little games, we're talking about some very rudimentary games then at that time, that if that's where their interest was, clearly that was an opportunity to learn. How do you marry uh, technology and education? Well, I'll tell you what, this school has found out how you do it, or otherwise you wouldn't be getting this recognition today. And I want to say to the mayor, it's good to see him again. Back when I was governor, from time to time when I came up here, he was my security. And uh, now that he's the mayor, I feel even more secure here uh, in, in the community. And I say also to all of you that you deserve the credit as well as the administration and your teachers. Because you have, you have reacted to the educational experience that has come through technology. And I understand that uh, every night you get to take your MacBooks home. Uh, you probably also have personal cell phones, I haven't heard it go off yet, uh, you probably have iPads, iPods, I do, uh, Blackberries, I do, uh, Kindles, I do, uh, and so let me ask this question, has anyone here ever been in a movie and not had your Blackberry or your phone go off? Uh, I put mine on vibrate, but last night in the movie, Kevin, or Kyle over there, uh, Blackberry me tell me something I needed to know. So I'm looking to get embarrassed. But you're really fortunate to be living in the, uh, in the era you're living in today where this technology is so, uh, so commonplace uh, for so many people. Uh, when many of us were growing up, and I was growing up in the book, we didn't have anything uh, this kind, and, and so communication was, was difficult. We didn't use smoke signals. Uh, but we didn't have a Facebook uh, to update, we didn't have a status on that. Uh, of only be, being one of only 52 schools in the country is a distinction that you should remember uh, today, tomorrow, and long into your, into your lives in the future. Because it means that you've got and are getting a first class education in the 21st century. And that's what education is all about. I would say also that every technological step uh, is, a, uh, is a step forward toward advancing education and making the opportunities that you have for the future even that much more uh, uh, hopeful for the future. Uh, the eagle eyes in O'Neill are a big change from when I was editor of my high school newspaper uh, 
the, uh, the bison, uh, the galleys, the, the, the hard work, the printing, the going down to Acme printing to make sure that, that the layout was in, in proper order and everything. It's altogether different than what, what you're able to do today uh, by computers. I found out just today, for the first time, that we have a typewriter in our office in Omaha. <laughs> Nobody knew how to use it. So, but at any rate, I can tell you that when I first ran for governor over 20 years ago, uh, it was even before Google was invented, we sent out news re uh, releases by snail mail or hand carried them. Today, news releases and other communications are delivered with the speed of light, and they have to be short. I never imagined 20 years ago that there would be such a thing as a tweet with a maximum of 104 characters on I should tell you that right while we're talking today, we're tweeting on our account so others are able to see where I am and who I'm talking to and what I've had to say. The tweets will go on. So stay on top of technology. Uh, I've had to, and I'm glad that I have, and I'm going to continue to, take, to stay on top of technology as best I can because I know that no matter what I know today, and no matter what you know today about the technology, you can be sure that tomorrow and today it's changing right as we're speaking. New things, new ideas, new technology, all developing, all advancing education, making communication and connection around the world a reality, not a dream. Uh, I remember when it was just about distance education. I said, why do we call it distance education? It's tele-education. We can do it in the same community using the same technology. It doesn't have to it doesn't have to just shrink distances. It can make us more effective in the delivery of the educational experience and make life better uh, for America. Thank you all. Congratulations. May God continue to bless America and may God continue to bless our men and women in uniform. Thank you.